We're at Baxter State Park this morning. It's a little bit chilly for an August morning, but that's Northern Maine for you. Today we are taking the taking in the brothers, North Brother, South Brother, and also Mount Co. Should be a nice uh, long day hike, but we'll see how everything shakes out. sleep last night and that's definitely having a negative impact on how I feel this morning tried to sleep in the car on the way out here not ideal uh, pre prep pre hike uh, conditioning but the day wears on and get a couple of miles under my feet. Hopefully I'll get a first wind. But we'll see. I don't know if you can hear behind me. I would try to show you. But I don't know how good the view is through the trees. But I've been following this stream for most of the trail so far. And you can hear it roaring. You can hear one waterfall after another. That's that's pretty well worth it right there. Even if it is hard to hear over the sound of my huffing and puffing. But uh, now the mountain's not gonna come down to us. That's probably probably true. Although I guess it depends on how long you're willing to wait. Anyway, let's, let's not keep the mountain waiting. has been largely up, but it's leveled out a little bit. The incline's not as uh, strenuous, but there are still numerous stream crossings, uh, numerous waterfalls, those are beautiful, and the moss uh, at the base of most of these trees, it's just been gorgeous to walk through, to appreciate. So anyway, we'll, uh, We'll keep on heading up and see what we see when we get there. Of course, it's been raining recently in the area, so there is a lot of uh, mud and some of it deceptively deep and spready. It's not a word, but uh, slippery. There we go. <laughs> spready doesn't. Anyway. This is the moss I'm talking about. I mean, look at this. This is... Ah, it's like something out of a fairy tale. Just beautiful.
So here's a look back over what we've come up so far. And if you look out in the distance there, it looks like we've come up quite a bit, but as I was trying to show earlier, we still have a, a lot more up to go. Actually, it's obscured behind these trees now. So we're starting to get uh, nearer the timber line. I don't know if we'll actually cross over it or not. If you look across, that's the, uh, that's the uh, OGI, OG, OJI trail runs across the top of that ridge and uh, connects later on up uh, with the brothers, but we are not gonna be taking that route. But uh, we turn, look back the way we came. Still get a pretty good view. I'm not sure if it'll translate well on camera, but uh, it's pretty nice. All right, so we are working our way up toward Mount Co. But there's a lot of water coming down this uh, granite face here. And uh, it's making for a slick climb. Maybe a hands and knees type deal. Or not, if you can get away from the water. So anyway, I'm gonna uh, turn off the camera so I can use all my limbs and hopefully not eat these rocks for lunch. We're over most of the slick section of uh, granite there, but we do still have a bunch of granite to, to go. It is more open up here. We're out of the, the taller, heavier trees. Uh, getting into like a more uh, smaller evergreens and some scrub. And uh, there was a little bit of breeze earlier, which was actually pretty nice, even though it was pretty cold this morning. Yeah, there's some of that breeze. But behind me, I'm not sure if you can see some of where we've come from. Yeah, I was gonna see. But uh, yeah, again, I'm sure I'll repeat myself numerous times, but it is just a beautiful view up here. Oof, and as much uh, juice as it takes to get to this point, and as much as it's gonna take to get complete the rest of the loop, it is completely worth it. All right. So these blue blazes are what we've been following. Let's see another one up on that rock, maybe. And sometimes they don't show up so well when the path you're taking looks like that. And again, it might be hard to kind of put together from this angle, but it is a lot of uh, flat, slick sloped granite with not much in the way of uh, footholds and I don't know if it really counts as scree but some of the loose rock and the sand and gravel uh, coupled with the scrub can make seeing those blue blazes difficult so I'm sure there are probably as many uh, trails up to this point as there are climbers but uh, we're getting back toward the forest now or some uh, tree cover I should say so I think we're closing in on the peak of Mount Co and then we should hit South Brother I think it's South Brother first and then North Brother uh, I'm sure there'll be signage to correct me if I'm wrong I guess just take one more look out over the horizon here Still beautiful. So almost immediately after getting back into some trees, 
the elevation just immediately punches you in the hams and the quads and pretty much any other muscles in your legs. Man. Oof. Yeah. We'll fight in the face for the tree branch. Oh well. So here we are at the top of Mount Co as I trip over some bushes. I'll spin you around here and get you a better view. There we go. I don't know if the camera can pick up the sign. It's pretty faded, but we'll see. Yeah. So we're coming down from Mount Co, and the steep is pretty immediate, only in the down direction. So there's a, you gotta pay attention to the slippery stuff so you don't fall, well, I guess you still had to pay attention to slippery stuff on the way up, just now it's slippery in a different direction, which makes no sense, but there you go. Anyway, we've got a, about a mile point three to North Brother, South Brother, I keep getting it confused, South Brother, and after this down, there's gonna be a lot of topo lines very close together, so that ought to be really fun but uh, anyway we are still working our way towards South Brother uh, like I mentioned earlier we were down uh, back into the uh, more heavily wooded portion of the trail in between the peaks but there's some it has been there have been let me see if I can speak English there have been some interesting uh, granite um, formations, that's not the right word, uh, splits, shapes, chunks, whatever the right term is, that uh, I've passed. Of course, I don't think I was recording for most of those, but um, I suspect there may be some others on the way. There seems to be more uh, blow down in this part of the trail, like uh, maintenance hasn't quite... Uh, gotten to it yet. I suspect that's forthcoming. And it's not too bad. You can see where people have just made a quick little skirt around or over, depending on the severity of the trees falling across the trail here. I Going over a little, there we go, a little bit of a precarious section there with a Poorly marked trail, or it looks like it might be a little uh, washed out. Uh, here we go. All right, getting back up into some of that granite. A little bit of a ledge-like cave over here. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay, that was graceful. like the uh, up has started. At least it feels a little more gradual than I was anticipating, but it's only just started, so there could still be some punishing grade coming right up. But we'll see. 
and, and there still seems to be a lot of low down. Some of the trail is more obscured in some places than others, but uh, it just takes a little bit of poking to find it. We are three tenths of a mile from South Brother, the summit. I don't know if you can, if that's picking up on the sign or not. I'll inset it if it isn't. But so far, the steep has not been as uh, punishing as I was afraid it might be. But I have no idea what this next three tenths uh, will bring. So we'll see. I'm seeing some of the. It's probably late morning sun now, kind of poking down through the trees. It's mostly uh, firs and evergreens up here. And it gives the, gives the trail a nice dappled effect. I don't know how much of that picks up on camera, but it's just a nice little bit of uh, trail ambiance. steep stuff again we're almost done with that three tenths spur to the summit of uh, South Brother and yeah that's where they hit all the steepness still punching through you can still see these uh, these uh, granite boulders we got to climb over get there but you can also look out Let's see back over the valley junction where we turn to come up to South Brother and then uh, it's another 1.5 from that junction to the summit of North Brother. And yes, just as well, it was tricky coming up this uh, spur and uh, it's gonna be tricky getting down. So we're back down from South Brother. That felt more like three tenths coming down than going up, but uh, man, my knees are gonna pay for it. That's for sure. This is a rough trail. Yeah, all of it has been so far. Not 
not to say that that's bad by any means. It's just something to bear in mind. Anyway, I know North Brother is just above, it's like 4,100 feet and change. And South Brother is just below. It's like 3,970 uh, maybe, 39. That sounds about right. It's just under 4,000. And Mount Co is in the 3,000 range, high 3,000 range as well. Yeah, that, that's one negative about the uh, type of uh, trail with all these rocks, with all these roots. Actually, I appreciate it for the aesthetic, but man, it makes it almost impossible to make or keep a cadence, set up a, a reliable pace. So, <laughs> there's a case in point, almost fell over sideways again. So, you know, that's gonna chew up more energy than it feels like it should. Just uh, stopping and starting and getting off, uh, off cadence. All right, so we have reached the junction of the Marston Trail and the uh, Slide Damp Picnic area, which is where we parked. So we've got less than a mile, eight tenths, to the summit of North Brother for an elevation of 4,151 feet. And then uh, we'll be coming back down. It's another back of 0.8 and then another 3.2 to where we started out this morning. So we're back to the Marston Trail fork. Got back down from North Brothers, so now we're just gonna head back to the parking area, and that should do it. All right, let's go. practically no wind down here, which is also nice. Although, after hiking up and building up all that sweat, it was nice to have the wind kind of cool and dry at the same time. Yeah, it should hopefully not be too much longer until we hit a uh, the junction that, uh, if we went straight, we would basically be getting ready to repeat what we've done so far today. But if we turn right, then that'll take us back to the parking lot. And that's where my knees desperately want me to take them. Just off to the side of the trail, we came across this pond. I don't know what it's called. I'll put a note up once I figure out Well, we finally came to that sign for the junction and passed it. So we've got about 1.3 miles back to the parking lot. And this is the same trail that we came up. So 
nothing new to show you. But anyway, thanks for tagging along. I uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one.